Look at the shit that happened in California. Was that a white man or was that a black man? Huh? Are they going to outlaw knives next since they trying to do gun control? They constantly have you living in a state of fear so that they can control you, so that they can control your mind. And this is how they do it. This is how they do it. Don't be a sucker and think that what I tell you is not true. Everything that I tell you is true. The only thing you have to do is open up your E-Y-E-S and you can S-E-E. What I'm talking to A-B-O-U-T. For real. So what are you going to do? The knife man kills four people with a fucking knife. Was he a black man or was he a white man? I'm just saying. Gun control because of the mass shootings. Now people getting stabbed with knives. Are they going to outlaw knives? Are they going to come up with a legislation proposing that people uh, 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 vote against knives? What about cars? What about cars? You got people running over people with cars. Not only here, but you got it in what? Canada? Ran over people with cars. You know, just, just running the fuck over people. And what was the other place? Uh, France? Motherfuckers just running over people. Just jump the curb and start running over people. Killing people. Then you got the number one domestic terrorist in the U.S. In Virginia. What did he do? Kill all them goddamn people. Ran them over with his fucking car in Virginia. Yeah, you remember the KKK meeting. It is outrageous. Stop me when I'm lying. Stop me when I'm lying. Just stop me when I'm lying. If you are not out here raising these kids to be successful and giving them guidance and proper information, giving them an understanding of what it's like to do critical thinking, teaching them history, real history, not his story, but real history. If you're not doing any of that, you need to get the fuck off the scene. Because you fucking up. This real talk, I'm out here sweating this morning. I'm out here sweating this morning. And it's early. But I had to bring something to the people. I had to bring something to the people. And it's something else that I wanted to talk to you about this morning. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. You may have... Your dreams may have been shattered uh, through prior mistakes or sometimes they shattered by things that's beyond your control. But one thing is for sure, do not give up. Do not give up. Anything you want, you can have. Anything you want, you can have. Anything you want, you can have. The only thing you have to do is get connected with the universe. The only thing you have to do is get connected with the universe. You say, well, more, I need a million dollars. Well, we're not talking about it like that. No. But something will manifest in your life so that you could build you a million dollars. I'm just saying. And when you look at it, a million dollars is a million dollars. But is that all you want? Is that all you want? How about the upliftment of your mind? How about the detoxification for your mind? How about the, the detoxification for your spirit? Because spiritually, we are bankrupt. We are spiritually, morally, and mentally bankrupt. And how did that occur? How did that occur? Through the miseducation. Through the miseducation, through the rape, through the lynchings, through the shootings, through the captivation. 
you chattel slavery. That's where it went. That's where it went. But now that you're an adult, you need to get yourself back so you can help teach these kids. And you can teach them to stop going to high beef and getting that lean from his store. Liquid codeine and shit like that. You can educate them to stop doing that shit. You can educate them to stop listening to that fucked up music that they listen to that's telling them to kill themselves. Hey, I even listened to a song. Hey, <clears throat> I was around some young guys. And I think I, I think the group name is what, QFN? And they played this joint about eating penis for breakfast, okay? And they was talking about a chick, of course. I understood that. And that's not too bad. I would rather have the young guys talking about some real shit that adults are scared to say. Uh, like, eating penis for breakfast. I mean, we as men, we like getting our penis ate for breakfast by a woman, right? So they're not saying nothing wrong with that. I can respect that more than, let's kill you, nigga. Let's go smoke this motherfucker. Let's go kill his dog, his mama, his cat. See, I can respect the prior lyrics of the young guy who wants his penis ate for breakfast by a woman versus... Let me kill you. Let me shoot you. Let me rob you. Let me put something in your drink. At least he being honest. And he not talking about nigga, 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 nigga. It sound like some crazy shit, but I can respect that to an extent, okay? Versus that other garbage shit. But not that I would listen to it again. That's just not me, but it just made me laugh when I heard that shit. So yeah, I was hanging with some shorties as you can see Because that's not some music that I would typically just listen to I'm just saying So yeah, I hang out with the shorties And you all should too Because you have a lot to teach them And if you're not teaching them right You're teaching them wrong And if you're teaching them wrong You need to stop You need to stop you need to stop and show them another way. You yourself need to learn another way. But with that, you all, I'm going to end on this note. And I want to uh, say thank you for hanging out with me this morning. And uh, stay away from the popo. Don't drink and drive. Don't smoke weed in your car and drive. And have some love, peace, and respect for yourself. It's the 13th letter to the cipher.